Poor statistics, perceptions and societal attitude affect efforts towards ending sexual violence against women in Nigeria. Speaking during a panel session at the WIMBY's 18th annual conference in Lagos on silence and a shame, founder of Women at Risk International Foundation, Warif, said there was very little current statistics on violence against women in Nigeria. There's very little current statistics on violence against women in Nigeria. And this is why one of the things that we're trying to do is we're trying to collate data so we have more current information when we meet in places such as this. What we do know presently, and these are studies from 2014, is that one in two women between the ages of 15 and 19 would have had one violent sexual encounter. She attributed some of the challenges to include the patriarchal society we live in, the lack of awareness, among other issues. But the most important why, I think, is the enabling environment that we are all complicit in. The most important why is the culture that we've allowed to evolve, where it's okay because boys will be boys. The important why is where we see these cases of abuse, but we turn away because it's not happening to me, it's not happening to mine, so why should I intervene? A woman naked could be left on the street in Lekki, and as opposed to assisting her, pictures are taken of her and it goes viral. A child is seen outside at 11 a.m. We all know children should be in school. Who stops to ask her, why are you outside? Other speakers also share their views on what needs to change if we're to make headway. We're still trying to prevent our girls from getting raped. No. We're supposed to be raising better men. So, it's like, I mean, it, it's, it's hard for me to wrap my head around it because even when we are very much advocates, a system has been deeply entrenched in us that we don't understand when we are even, you know, sort of portraying that. Men need to understand you don't have a right to rape a woman because she's wearing a miniskirt. Presently, whenever you have scenarios where women walk into police stations to report a crime, and the crime happens to be rape, they're faced with the victim blaming that Hawa mentioned. The police officer typically would come with his own perceptions, and then he would ask the most ridiculous and obvious questions that we've all heard before. What time of the day was it? Were you alone? And what were you wearing? Do women recover from sexual violence? I would be lying if I say that I've fully recovered, but I've had a great support system, so my family has been there for me. I've had friends who've been supportive. Um, I work for an organization that told me to take as much time as I needed to recover before I come back to work. What kind of filth am I? Like, how did, how did he see me that he thought that this was the best way to treat me? It's blame, it's that self-blame, and it keeps going on and on and on. Espart submits that Nigeria can make progress beyond words towards eliminating sexual violence against women and girls only by breaking the culture of silence and reforming social structures that permit and enable the violence against women and girls. Felicity Ezewike, Plus TV Africa.